Hello, everyone, and welcome to Kino Carrete in this uh, English version. Uh, uh, we are accompanied uh, today by uh, Maria Isabel Diez. She, everything that she does is amazing. So, yes, like 10. No? So, today we're going to talk uh, and uh, welcome, Maria Isabel, to, to our channel. Uh, we're so happy to have you here. How are you? Thank you. Thank you, Martina. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, can you tell us maybe a little bit about your life or do you just want to go on with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were right when you said I was number 10 in everything, but yeah, no. <laughs> well, very happy, happy to be here. Just a normal person just trying to share and, and give my opinion about the different interesting topics that you talk about here. Perfect. Yeah, so the... For, for all of you guys out there that know our channel from five years ago, we tried to do this experiment in English a long time ago, like four years ago or something. And it didn't work out for some reason, but we're recovering things from there. And then the, now we want to have like the same version that we have in Spanish, kind of. We're going to have it in English so we can uh, uh, have like more, more people from uh, all corners from the world to be able to, to share information you know, in, the, in the commentary section down there. And don't forget to share, to like, and obviously subscribe to our channel. And uh, you have to uh, be sure that every single message that, that you send and you write down there, we read and we answer. Yeah? So anyways, today we're going to talk about the, the series, the Netflix series, Ozark. I love this series. And before we start, I want to say that it has nothing to do, I cannot, cannot, you cannot make a comparison between this and Breaking Bad. It's a completely different animal. It's a completely different animal. So, I, and, I, and I've seen videos in YouTube that may, they go like, okay, this is what this lack uh, from, from um, Breaking Bad. Why did you compare it? It has nothing to do with the other. No, this is from the get go, it's fucked up. So, Yeah, so it's something like that. Is it? It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. How do you like the the, the last season? Well, I love the, the the last season, especially the beginning when they, as they always do in Ozark, they just throw at you something that you are actually not knowing what's going on and make you start wondering. Why did this happen? Like the car crash. I mean, about the car crash in the, at the beginning. At the beginning. Um, yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah you don't know it looks like they they finally i mean the scene looks like they finally left their troubles behind and and then they the car crashes and uh, we don't know it, it i like the fact that it, it left me wondering you know maybe the truck that was coming towards them was the navarro cartel truck nah. or how about if um marty just uh pretended that he was going to have an accident so they can actually get new identities and and just leave everything behind for sure so it, it just left me wondering um so so i i really like the last season yeah I, yeah the thing is jason bankman and, and laura Lini, like not only them but every single character is amazing Is every single one of them? I mean, the the the, the way they 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 show their characters, uh, they're amazing. I mean, they're completely different. They they have their own like uh, hidden agendas and all these things. No, like it's 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 crazy. I, I loved it. I loved it. And and the thing is, when you see the way um, Marty and, the, and and his wife, the way they behave, is like. They always have this secret behind this silence within every single thought. It's crazy. It's, it's just something, as you just said, it's like it, it, it keeps you like wondering about what the hell is going to happen and how it's going to end this up. But the last episode, yeah. it was like, you have to do another season. You have to make another season. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we were all wondering what Ruth was going to do to Navarro, to Navarro's yeah. nephew. 
Yeah. It's like she's just driving to, I mean, she's obviously raging about the death of her cousin. And and then all of a sudden it finishes and I'm like getting ready with my cup of tea. Oh, let's see the next uh, episode. And they're like, okay. That's it. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 it can't be happening because we want to know. One of the things that I like about Ozark is that the series is driven by very strong women. Yeah. So you see, you see Wendy, you see Darlene. And oh, Ruth. Darlene, oh my God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And sometimes in a personal, in a personal like way of seeing it, I love the way Ruth faces the world. Like people come and talk to her and she's just no and mm -hmm. no. And she just explains and she gives some sorts of explanation about her decisions. And I think, oh, that's really strong. The lean strength is a bit more. Um, I mean, less approachable. Yeah. Uh, but but if you see Wendy, Wendy is a typical housewife, very calm, apple pie. Yeah. But she can actually kill her own brother to prove she loyalty did. to Navarro. She did. She did. And she's this. I mean, I think like Marty and Wendy, parenthood. Mm -mm, no, that is a uh -uh. difficult one for them both. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's, 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 yeah, it's uh, like in a, in a very funny way. It's um, it's so sick because, as you just said, the parenthood of these guys it just doesn't exist. I'm sorry, but there's none, <laughs> right? But they still they still love they're still loving parents. They still look after their children. Yeah, they still they have tell to. them they have to go to college. Yeah, they still loving parents, but they have to do their thing on, on the other side. And it's so difficult to gamble, which is not actually so far away from real life, from the, the, the normal human side of people. And they have to That's still true. be loving parents. So, yeah, it was, it's, it's interesting because like, when, when they talk about, oh, we had to take pieces of hair of herself oh, from the, our the, hair the brain. <laughs> yeah and they're explaining that to their children and then they're having a go at their daughter because she doesn't want to go to college uh <laughs> you are like okay <laughs> wait hold on hold on because they were having dinner when they were talking about the, the brain in the, the hair yeah like, what's wrong with you <laughs> Are you seriously telling your children that you had to take pieces of a human brain from your own hair? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's, 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 I don't know. It's so conflicting. It's disturbing. It's disturbing. Uh, that's the definition yeah. that I give to you. So, so very basically, um, for, for those of uh, us that like this kind of, um, because it's like passive aggressive, but then yeah. violent, but then sarcastic, but then uh, it's so dark, uh, for, but it's and dramatic in so many different levels. No? So for those of us who like this kind of twisted things, because I wish this wasn't a post-apocalyptic uh, series, but it's not. As you said, it's like it's, it's our present and people actually act this way. That we don't see it is some, something completely different. But mm -hmm. I, I tell, I tell everyone go and see this thing because this is so it's sickening, it's sickening. No, but it's but it's fulfilling at the same time. It's <laughs> no, it's so weird. It's so weird. It had, it, it had many facets. I think is uh, first of all is the normal family that we all want to be. And second is a bit of action and also, you know, this, the danger involved in what they do. And actually, they, they, they got into that position unwillingly because he was pressured by people that he was not aware. Because remember that Marty Gore and his family got where they are at the moment because of his associate that was the one dealing with these people of the cartel. And then Marty was the one that left was left to survive because he thought about the Ozarks and he thought about going and he had to get on with it. So basically he wasn't planning to do that. And, and he's so patient and he's so calm. If I had half of their problems, I would be like, a, but it's, it's so I bet, I think it's the, 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 the normal family, the unexpected, because you see when Darlene 
kill this this couple like I know I don't like you boom and you're like what yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has all the sorts of uh, emotions it, it brings up all the emotions that you want to see is calm is good you don't understand is scary but so it's, it's interesting because it brings <laughs> up a lot in you <laughs> the thing is, that, that was that was weird because I mean, you see that link coming out with the shotgun out of the house. You go like, okay, shed is going down. I mean, she's prepared for something. But then killing this thing out of the uh, this guy out of the blue, like why he didn't do anything to you? I don't like, like you. What happened? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now and now the, the, the way she goes to the market still and she she sells her goods that she produces in the farm uh, like a normal person normal farmer going to the farmer's market to just you know just sell the jam and not to mention the relationship with the young guy yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the, but the guy is like how old is he like 20 22 no I think yeah he's, he's way young and she's yeah. actually she's like 60s <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I mean, like, however you want to see this thing is is sick, is it, but it's yeah. it is fulfilling. It's fulfilling. Yeah, it's so fulfilling. And, yeah, totally, totally. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, uh, thumbs up, uh, do your commentary down there below, and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Marisa Yes, uh, for being here today with us. Thank you very much. Pleasure. And, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, our pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.